I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. The future of the U.S. Postal Service Processing and Distribution Plant located at Stewart Airport remains in jeopardy. And today, postal workers and union members at the Mid-Hudson Mail Facility brought their concerns to the public with a protest staged along Route 17K in the town of Newburgh. Workers are upset that the proposed timetable for closing the Stewart Center and merging it with an Albany mail facility has reportedly been moved up from 2014 to sometime this summer. Postmaster General has taken 55 plants from across the country and Mid-Hudson, which is just down the road here, is one of them. He has advanced us to be starting the process for closure. As of September 30th of this year, he's planning on taking our incoming prime and our outgoing mail, which will delay our service standards. You know that that's been an issue up in Congress. They've told the Postmaster General that you cannot do that without our permission, but he went ahead and he's doing it anyway. There's already been 200 plants closed across the country. These plants that have closed, it's a, it's a sin because they are now adversely affecting mail service in those areas. Uh, this facility should be considered a jewel by the postal system. It sits right on Stewart Airport. It sits at the crossroads of the Northeast with the thruway in 84. It has a one year, uh, a one dollar a year lease. All the mail that comes in the Hudson Valley comes here. You're going to close it down, put all the, let the mail go all the way up to Albany or down to White Plains, Westchester, and then bring it all back a couple of days later. It just makes no sense. The Postal Service claims that closing the processing and distribution center in the Stewart Industrial Park, along with 222 other centers across the country over the next three years, will save the financially strapped agency about $13 billion a year. Reporter Mike Randall will have more on the continuing fight to save the Stewart Center here at Record Online and in tomorrow's Times-Herald Record. Town of Ulster police are hoping the review of store surveillance video will help them find those responsible for the theft of a large quantity of jewelry from a store at the Hudson Valley Mall Tuesday night. Police say someone uh, cut a wire a security cable and then uh, made off with a display containing close to 100 charms at the Jewelry Expression Store in the Hudson Valley Mall happened between 5 and 7 p.m. Tuesday night. Anyone who might have seen something suspicious is asked to call Town of Ulster Police. Their phone number is 382-1111. Nancy Zimfer's current tour of State University campuses brought the SUNY Chancellor to the New Paltz campus earlier today where she was greeted by members of the College Professors Union, United University Professions, whose members wanted to draw her attention to what they say is the low pay that adjunct professors and non-tenure teachers receive at New Paltz. Faculty and students took part in the question and answer session. SUNY New Paltz United University Professions Union President Peter Brown said adjuncts and non-tenured faculty should receive $5,000 per course. The college currently pays its 185 adjunct teachers $3,000 per three-credit course. Chancellor Zimfer did not respond directly to the issue during her New Paltz stop, saying she could not comment because of ongoing contract negotiations. Middletown Mayor Joe DiStefano says it's time for counties like Orange to look for more ways to help their financially struggling cities. DeStefano was uh, one of the speakers at this morning's meeting of the Orange County Chamber of Commerce, and he said in the face of unfunded mandates from the state, cities like Middletown won't reach their economic potential without county help to ensure Middletown, Newburgh, and Port Jervis get their fair share of available resources. There's no secret that the county does a lot of social service dumping into the cities. How can they help us with the resources that are necessary to manage those programs? And uh, the density issue, you know, 20% of the population in the county live in the cities, yet we take up less than 1.5% of the land mass. So of course when you have that density, you're going to have more problems. We need more resources, we need to deal with the county on a one-on-one -on -one level and have somebody in county government focus Focus just on cities. A Newburgh Mayor Judy Kennedy stressed the need for developing partnerships when it comes to creative problem solving in our cities because uh, she says uh, Washington and Albany won't save us. Has the time come for sales tax to be imposed and collected on purchases made online? The Senate this week passed legislation that uh, would require online retailers to collect state sales taxes. Current law requires that uh, states only collect sales taxes 
than those retailers with a physical location in the state. And while those who rely heavily on business done online have raised objections, there are those who uh, like the idea of an internet sales tax, among them Frank Giannino, who runs Frank's custom shoe fitting in the town of Wallkill. For years we've had a struggle with buyers coming in uh, saying that they uh, are prices too high and you add tax to that. Uh, to keep us competitive we have to go ahead and be fair across the board and this, this new legislation is going to create a, a more level playing field and, uh, and keep the customers coming in. While the legislation has passed in the Senate, its future is uncertain in the House since there are those small businesses that are concerned about how an internet sales tax will impact their bottom lines. And they came to defend their mountain retreat. Practitioners of Falun Gong at the Dragon Springs Buddhist Center in the town of Deer Park spoke out at last night's town planning board meeting saying the performing arts schools there set high academic standards and provide political asylum to its students from China. Last November, the planning board pulled the retreat's special use permit after it uh, learned the center was operating a college and high school there without town approvals. Uh, the board uh, won't grant site plan approval and a special use permit until uh, Dragon Springs provides specific figures concerning how many people use the facility. <laughs> Looks like our weekend will begin with more wet weather. Friday will be mostly cloudy with rain expected by late in the day. The highs Friday will reach the middle 70s. Saturday will be a cloudy day with showers likely and temperatures in the low 70s. When news breaks, you will find it here at Record Online. And pick up the Times Herald Record tomorrow morning for the news you need and the features you enjoy. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.